Hi guys, just trying to keep the camera stable. What is up? Welcome to Painting with Lauren. Very excited about this today's episode. Hi everybody, I've been working out every day. Does it look? Once I start working out, like I get really cut. So I'm really excited about it. I had a great day. George got some amazing news from his cardiologist. Uh, he needed a checkup. He's been coughing a little bit. And they told me he was fine. I'm so happy. I'm so happy because we all know how much I love my George. Right, babies? I love you so much. I love you so much. I'm talking to the dog right now. This is George for new people watching. He's my 14 year old schnoodle and he is the best doggy. I love you so much. I do. Okay. All right, George, we're going to be painting today. Really exciting stuff here. It was raining. So I put this towel up there. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Painting with Lauren. Oh, just going to put some, I don't know. This is a really dirty bowl. I need a clean one. Where did my clean stuff go? Jeez, nothing is clean here. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Thank you for the compliments. Oh, this is kind of like really dried stuff. Let me see. I had like a glass back here and it's missing, of course. I don't like to put the paintbrush here. Maybe you can use this one because it's a little cleaner. I don't like putting the paintbrush into the paint because then it makes it yucky. Hello, good evening, my friends. Welcome. Oh boy. Oh no. It looks like some of my paint looks like messed up. I hope it's okay. Hello, Lou from Denver. How are you? How is everybody? I'm just gonna use this. I don't wanna use this one as a stir. I'll use a fresh paint mixture as a stir. George, hang out with me, come on. Okay, hopefully the paint, oh no. I left the paint outside and it's kind of hard now. This is not good. This is not good for my paint. What did I do? It's kind of like, it's not a good consistency. Oh, I'm so upset right now. This is like, this is a mess. Let's see. Let's see. Does it look? I mean, it kind of, it could be good still, but it's not liquidy. I have to bring it inside and hope for, hope for the best. I don't know how to fix paint that got messed up, but I guess that'll be another video. Oh boy. As the paint goes into my hair. Oh my goodness, guys. I do not want to degrade myself like that. I have a lot of followers and viewers that are under the age of 18, and I don't want to promote that to a young audience, guys. I don't. I have a biology degree. I went to school. I don't need to do that. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. I already have a hard enough time <laughs> dating. I don't need that. I don't need that to show up in my Google searches, <laughs> you know, you know. Okay, so we are gonna start some painting. Nice hair, needs paint thinner, okay. I need to buy some paint thinner. All right, I am going to just, just uh, put some color, some color on the doors, uh-oh, oh no. <laughs> I need to get a, a, a paper towel again. <laughs> what do you think, guys? I'm like the female Bob Ross of painting. <laughs> hey, tell him. Yeah, I'm very sad about this paint situation. Oh my goodness, thank you, Howard, for the 50 stars. I appreciate you. There's people like you that make these streams keep going. With those 50 stars, maybe I can buy some new paint. We will see. I think I need uh, 27, 20,000, 22,000 stars to buy a can of paint. So that's a lot of stars. Let's see if we can, we can get to that number. <laughs> For my stupidness of leaving the paint outside in the boiling hot sun. So silly. Oh, I see, I like this. It looks kind of cool. It's like another finishing touch upon a finishing touch. Looks great, your painting is. Put your hair up in a ponytail. You know, I should do that because 
I am going to get paint in my hair. It's been a thing getting paint in my hair, but I already have paint on my hands. So if I touch my hair, it's just, yeah, I need to buy paint thinner. Keep up the good work, Lauren. Thank you. You know, I try. Where did my baby go? Hold on, guys. George? Baby? Baby, come on. Come in the video. Let's go. Not by the gate. Let's go. Come on. Right now. George, right now. coyote situation we have going on in California. Oh, I got some more stars. Whoa, who gave me a thousand stars? Who did this? Oh, Roger Pearsons. Thank you so much, Roger. Special shout out to Roger right now. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> We're almost there, guys. Just like 800 stars more and I can buy another can of paint or I can get some paint thinner. How much is paint thinner? Where do you get it from? I gotta go to Home Depot. I hate going to Home Depot, guys. It is not fun. Home Depot is like just not where I love to be. <laughs> oh, although I did make a really funny video there with Gia. I don't know if you guys remember that. All right. Okay. Put your hair in a ponytail, Lauren, or you will have paint in your hair. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Bucky, for the 200 stars. I appreciate you. We are just uh, painting this, guys. Let me know if you also have made the mistake of leaving paint outside and then it gets destroyed. I'm very upset about this. It's my favorite paint color. I just wanted to have it close because I was like, yeah, I'm gonna paint. And it just took me longer than I thought it would to, to get to this thing. It's just, you know, look at, look how, look how hard it is. It's like, it's, it's real hard. Oh boy. My life, guys. My life is silly. George is like, George wanted to go on a W-A-L-K. Okay, guys. Anyone else saying something fun? Let's see. Oh my goodness, I got 2,000. Two, just gave me a thousand more stars. Whoa, Roger Pearson's again. Amazing, Roger. Thank you so much. You're so sweet. You've single handedly uh, made the day brighter because we're going to buy some new paint now. Anna, thank you, Anna. George is a cute dog. George, stay here. Sit. No. George, no, George, sit down. Sit, good boy. There you go. There you go, baby. You've been painting. No, I was at the vet today. So George is 14 and he had open heart surgery uh, two years ago. It was experimental and it worked. So uh, he had no longer had to be on heart medicine, but I have to be super careful about what George does. And I had a friend over, oh my goodness, there's more. What is that? Whoa, I've never seen anything like this before. The stars party, what was that? That was really cool. Charles Humphrey, wow, thank you, Charles. That was really cool. Is it, yeah, Dan, it's water-based paint. Hey, Dan, I'm wearing your ring. Hopefully I don't get it dirty. Um, it is the week of the Oscars here, so I am going to a ton of gifting suites. Definitely thinking of all my Canadian friends that I met last time. I'm going to that one um, at, that I met you at. I don't know if it was a, if it was a, an Oscars one we met at, but I'm going to it. Dan Walker Designs, I got an amazing ring from him. So yeah, I'm just trying to figure out what to do. I left the paint out and now I'm just paying for it. <laughs> but yeah, hi guys, welcome. You're having fun, huh? Yeah, well, I just have to finish this so I can put my clothes in it. And I don't know if the paint is lead-based or what. So it, it was um, chip, chipping really bad. I sanded it and sanding it made it worse. It's like 
a really uh, weak type of wood. So I'm learning on my, George, I, I have um, a coyote problem here, guys. Don't use, uh, don't, don't use thinner in the paint. You can just use water. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Good to know that I don't have to buy the thinner. I did color my hair because I had tried to bleach it and it turned orange, but hopefully I will see my hairdresser soon. George, we got to go this way. Come on, baby. No, nope. no, nope. we can't stay over here, George. We're painting now. Look at George. No, this way, George. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. I love you, baby. Come on, sit with me. I don't want George to get eaten by a coyote, even though I don't think he will. I just, I don't trust it. Uh, the woman who owned the house before me, rest her soul, um, right before she passed, her dog was, it was during the day and her little dog got attacked by a coyote in the backyard. And I didn't know this. The realtor did not tell me this. I found out from a neighbor. So it was just like, when I found that out, I was like, okay, George, you're not allowed out of my sight. Come on, sit with me. I know it seems silly. And George is very like independent dog. He does not want to be watched or done anything. <laughs> Thank you guys. I need it. Maybe if I, is soap water okay to add? I have soap water here with me, but I don't know if I can, if, if putting soap in the paint is, is good for the paint. So I'm just, uh, I'm just painting right now. The world is your canvas. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate you guys, I really do. I appreciate you all. And I have been working out. I got, I've been going, because it's getting warmer, I've been going swimming every day, which is good. And then I found on Craigslist a rower for free. So I went on like a rower is my, and it was, I got like a really cool 1970s one. And then like a week later I saw an ad for a brand new one, but then I was like, I don't need two rowers. So, so, so I just kept the 1970s one. It is a little rickety, but it's really cute. And I use that every day and I swim every day in my pool, which I feel like I have to use the pool. I'm like, you know, you gotta use the, the pool good just to, to pay for the pool. <laughs> like, I really have to enjoy it. Glad you're enjoying your day. Thank you guys. Oh, George, I went to come sit next to you and you move. Come on, baby. So all around here, the paint was uh, peeling. George cough, George's cough is okay. I'm very grateful. I was very nervous about his cough, but he's fine. They looked at, they did an echo and they did an x-ray. My viewers are gonna think I'm insane. I'm an insane dog person. That's all, just an insane dog person. 1970s vintage rower, it is so cool. It's wooden, it kind of looks like the one that Kevin Spacey used in House of Cards. All right, I'll go on this side so I can watch George. So this is half painted. I will just go on this side. Um, yeah. It rained the other day on the furniture and I was so worried. I like came out here right away and I covered it up <laughs> like a crazy person. And I'm like drying it like my furniture, my furniture's. Oh, I just got a text from my friend. We were supposed to go to some Oscars thing, me and my friend Ken, but I don't know. Pets are part of the family. I know that's why I was like, really i love the chair color the the chair the color is nice so this chair that i have paint on i got these out of the, my neighbor's trash <laughs> everyone always laughs at me like i remember i was walking george with my uh friend and roommate carlos and i saw these chairs and he was like oh god lauren but i was like hey people are throwing them out and you can totally i have a big backyard so i grab them i love like blue accents like that's like basically the accent of my house is blue so that's what I use. I actually found a, a plastic table that's blue. I had paint on it in my neighbor's trash and it's in the front of my house now. I should paint the, I was gonna paint, I wanna paint the rest of it like this blue color, but I have to like make the paint liquid. Roger, thank you so much, Roger. Thank you. I need to still get um, uh, green paint. What two colors mixed make green, guys? Do you know? Maybe I can do it. You got a bit of a sunburn on your face. I know it's frustrating. I put so much sunscreen on, but I still I still get sun sunburned. So 
that's what we're doing. I'm just uh, sitting here painting. Might go out tonight, we'll see. I don't know. I really do need to clean up my house. And honestly, like, when my, my dog was like, I was worried because of his cough, because I let him play, you know, I was just so worried that I really haven't been able to focus and I am in such a better mood. And guys, you can see the cutest video of him on his Instagram, I Want My George. He is filming a movie with me. And they're like, since he's at set, they're like, he could be your dog. So it is really cute, the video I posted of George. I just love my dog. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't let George be alone ever. And he is only allowed to, <laughs> to be with people I really trust because he is, you know, he's like my child. Definitely has uh, <laughs> ended a lot of relationships because people are like, this girl is crazy. She is obsessed with her dog, but I don't care. Because like, you know, like what if I had a real child? They'd have to be okay with my dog. Right, George? George is like, I don't know what you're saying. All right, I'm trying to put this here. I'm trying to put my camera stick up so I can paint the top of this thing. Uh, oh, I got 100 stars. Thank you, Roger. Thank you so much. Yay. Yes, I'm going to have fun at Home Depot. Guys, let me know if any I can mix any two colors to make green. What two colors? It's like yellow. Is it yellow and orange to make green, guys? What colors? Are yellow and red? I forget. Yellow and blue? I have to remember this <laughs> from my color schemes. Do you guys know? Yellow and blue. Oh, so maybe this blue? What do you think? We're going to try it after. <laughs> after I'm done with the blue, I'll put some yellow in here and see. Maybe mix it with some water because it's so chalky. Oh no, and I have, my, I have a shoot and I just messed up my nails with the paint. Oh boy. Doing a good job. Thank you guys. I'm trying. I'm trying. You hear the wind chimes guys i love wind chimes i have so many that's one of the things that i would collect at estate sales is wind chimes all the time that's one of my main favorite things to collect is wind chimes i also like vintage sheets uh vintage glasses is my favorite and i love glasses from like the 60s 70s and 80s um with like the like decor like the sierra glasses i love them what else do I like? Pyrex. I love Pyrex. Um, weird furniture. I bought some, uh, uh, like something I can put by the pool to put stuff in because I have a lot of floats and I don't want to just have them laying around. So I got like some pool furniture that was cool. Um, yeah, that's a pretty flower. Thank you guys. Okay, I can still see my baby. All right funny it's like he's kind of in the camera so like if I look at the camera I see him I'm getting hungry though guys I did not eat lunch today I just went to the vet with George and uh, now I'm feeling the fact that I did not eat lunch <laughs> all right don't I, that's when I start going too fast and make mistakes I'm like food hi did you plant the flower part too no, I didn't. It came with the flower part and I really love the flower part. That's why I got it because I have um, like three other pieces that have this match. So I've been looking to replace all the furniture in my bedroom with this. So and I've been buying I buy used furniture, so it's hard to find a match. And then also a lot of people charge a lot of money because not only is it used it's vintage so I mean the main piece I actually got for free which is like a really really big one it's amazing and then the other piece that holds the TV I got for free it was on the side of the road and then this one I paid 200 bucks for and it's the out of the out of all of them was in the worst shape so it has been interesting but I've been looking for a tall piece like this for a while because you guys know about my clothing obsession 
have a bad clothing obsession. So, so yeah. Okay. Let's see what George is doing. He is sleeping. You guys see me? Kind of, sort of. Hi guys and welcome. Thank you for painting the furniture with me. Thanks for hanging out while I paint the furniture. It's so much fun. I have been busy working on my movie that I've raised funds for. Really excited about that. We're almost at $60,000, if you can imagine. That's crazy for me. Oh my goodness, and I got, wow, I got another, how did, who, where did all these stars come from? I just want to thank everybody. Bill Corrigan, thank you so much. Roger Parsons, Charles Humphrey, Charles Humphrey, Roger Parsons, Bucky Wright, Charles Humphrey, Roger Parsons, and Howard um, Christini. Christelli, thank you so much for all this. You guys are amazing. So sweet. Bobo, you okay? Georgie? Georgie? Bobo? Hold on. around you know what too the other day I saw these hawks flying and I don't know I know George is a tiny like he's not that tiny but I don't want him getting eaten by a hawk so I don't know I guess I'm just a helicopter parent definitely a helicopter parent all right I'm sitting on the ground now. That was hard to like uh, kneel like that for that long. My legs were hurting. Although I have been working my legs out more. George, where do you think you're going? Can you just sit down for a second and hang out with me, please? George, we are on a live stream right now. We are working. Sit. Sit, baby. Good boy. Oh, you're such a good boy. He just listened to me. Oh, I love you so much, baby. No, where are you going now? No. Where are you going? Uh, oh boy. All right. This is kind of what I just wanted to do is like, like layer the paint so it like looks interesting. Hey guys, let's see where George is going now. Hey George, I see you. I see you dog. Look at him hiding. He's like hiding. Look. Georgie! I see you. Uh, please don't be... I'm kind of embarrassed by all the paint on the ground. I kind of want to paint like... Oh, wow. That's crazy, James. Yeah, I. whenever I see those hawks, like, I, I've seen hawks a lot of times circle around George, and it like freaks me out. I like pick them up and bring them inside. I'm like, all right. It's funny. Like, it's not funny. It's, it's like scary. It's so scary. I'm like, where are we, you know? Like, where am I right now in California where there's like freaking, you know, hawks? So I'm going to paint this now a little bit, this branch from my, this hat, this fell on a, <laughs> this was my eucalypt, part of my eucalyptus tree that we cut. And I just kind of want to paint it so my gardener knows not to throw it out. 
my grandparents, they had on their roof, and I kind of want to do this, in their living room, they hung these branches that they painted white. Um, and it was so cool. And then they hung Christmas ornaments that like just stayed up all year round with lights. It was really one of my favorite things about going there. And I told, I like told my family, I'm like, I have to do this. I have to do this. I think, I don't know if today is the anniversary of my grandmother's passing, but my mom, uh, my mom said she wasn't sure. All right, let's see. Let's see what uh, the blue and the yellow look like. I have yellow paint in here. And it still kind of smells a little funky inside. Like, I don't know, like, kind of like moss. All right, I put some yellow paint in here. We're gonna see if it makes it green. Thank you, Glenn, thank you so much. Thank you, Glenn, thank you so much. And I'm just gonna mix these paints. Oh my goodness, guys, it looks green. We did it. Well, kind of green. I think I gotta add some more yellow paint. It definitely is more liquidy, which is good. All right, so look, or it needs like a deeper, it needs to be like a deeper blue. We're gonna try some more yellow paint though. See if that works. That's fun. Uh, John wants me to paint the whole side one color. The only problem with that is like, I really like the flowers, you know? I really, really like the flowers. I need a deeper green though. I have a green that I, I, that's been out in the sun as well, but it, that was the green that I did that bed. And like, to be honest, it really messed up the whole rail of that bed that I did. Hey, Leslie, how are you? Good to see you. As you see, I'm painting, I'm mixing paint colors right now, trying to, trying to make things a little bit more colorful. Hopefully this isn't totally dry, this paint. I don't know what I was thinking. I was, it was lazy, it was pure laziness just leaving the paint out like this. Really dumb of me. But what can I say? Sometimes I don't do the smartest things. I don't. Now I had a thing soaking my brushes and I don't know where that went. Like my gardener sometimes throws stuff out. I just broke the paintbrush. Great. I'm gonna use a plastic one for a little bit. Oh boy. Hey guys, welcome to Painting with Lauren. You're having fun painting. I am having fun painting. I'm trying to open this painting can. It's like painted shut. Ugh. Where is my knife when you need it? I had a knife out here too. It's like, what did my gardener throw away? Maybe it's a sign I shouldn't try to use this paint. Wow, it looks beautiful, gorgeous. Thank you guys. Thank you for supporting my painting fun. <laughs> to buy more paint after this but I wish I could open this one. Oh, here it is. Here's the other thing. Uh, all the paint is like together. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to open this. All right. Welcome. Rubbing alcohol will help. I mean, I just don't want to go inside right now. That's the problem. Oh, I think I got it. Found a found a leak really hard to open this. Mm. Just have to be careful not to get paint all over me. Like, I like this new bikini. I got it at one of the, the Goodwill outlets. It was really fun. <laughs> I love Goodwill outlets. I love treasure hunting, guys. Do you like treasure hunting? Oh, this is an opening. Okay. I'm trying to open this paint can. I, like one thing about me guys is I don't give up. I never give up. It's a very uh, interesting trait that I have. Oh, we're almost there. Guys, I feel so proud right now. Oh God. <laughs> well, it looks like uh, let's, a key next time is buying new paint. Yep, that is a key next time. This paint is like pretty much all, geez, where did that other paintbrush, that plastic one I was using as a stirrer, where did it go? Oh boy. Can't find it here, I'm just gonna use, this was green. 
Oh my goodness, this is all hard now. Ugh. And it's like brown in the center. Why is it brown? Here, wait, maybe if I just put a little bit in here. Oh boy. What did I do, guys? What did I do? Why did I do that? Oh boy, now it's getting everywhere. Okay. Now I'm mixing the paint. It's kind of lumpy, but it is green, so that's good. And I kind of want to, I'm gonna experiment on the side of this. Just cause I wanna make it look like grass. That's kind of what I did for the other one. I mean, it's really not as green as I like. That looks kind of cool. I like it. George, where are you, baby? I see you. I wish you were here. Hey, guys. All right, so we are still painting. For those of you tuning in, we mixed a few colors together. I messed up some paint. I hope the paint I bought yesterday actually... Oh, that's so cool. You bought me paint. Okay, that's amazing. Thank you, Cheeky Charles. I do have an Amazon wish list, people. If there's anything you want to see me try, you can uh, check out my wish list. I have stuff on there. But for some reason, uh, Charles is in the UK and was having a hard time sending me stuff from the UK. So hopefully that uh, gets resolved. I have to see on my Amazon too. Like, yeah. This looks cool. It looks very cool. I'm getting hungry. There's a hunger in my belly right now. <laughs> getting like that dizzy, hungry, like what am I doing? I need to eat. I couldn't get Karen to play. Why not? Did you buy Karen? Karen is uh, available now on YouTube, guys. Really exciting. That movie I acted in this summer is already up. Very cool. I just want to make this look like grass. guys and welcome to painting with Lauren thank you for tuning in my name is Lauren and today we are painting this awesome dresser I got on Facebook marketplace um, it has like a bunch of chip paint so I sanded it but even though I sanded it like the wood started going giving out so I'm just experimenting with it I do want to eventually find more pieces of furniture that match this so I can replace all the furniture in my room but it's been a it's been a journey there there were two dressers I saw um, but I wasn't sure if I wanted them because I just you know it's like how much money do you want to spend and you know on used furniture that like as you can see is not in the best shape Circle of life. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking of right now. Okay. Hi, guys. All right. Going on this side now. Just trying stuff out. Thank you. I love the green, Lauren. I know, isn't it cool that I made this color just now? We just made this. I feel like I'm in kindergarten again, and I'm making furniture paint.
Okay. Those look kind of cool in an interesting, weird painting kind of way. Ugh. All right, guys. This is me telling you not to be afraid to experiment and try new things. Because you know what? I could always get new furniture. <laughs> this uh, I got was used. It was a good price. Decent price. It's not free. But it uh, definitely has some work that needed to be done on it. And it's fun to put a little bit of your own energy into your objects and when you buy used things it's good to clear them so that's what we're doing right now we're just changing the energy of this beautiful piece of furniture i think i want to do some more green in it i'm like i'm changing as i go it's definitely fun i'm like adding and layering the paint I feel like it needs like like sky at the top, like <laughs> definitely interesting. I had a weird dream last night. What was my dream about? It's your unique style. Thank you. Yeah, I had a dream. I was like, oh, it was so weird. So I was um I was dreaming that I had this other house and it was my parents' house. And I was trying to make money <laughs> and I was like renting every single area of the house, every room, everything, kind of what I'm doing in this house. Um, and then like on the downstairs, there were like these stores and I went into one of the stores and it had all of the most beautiful crystals there. And I saw this necklace and it was the most beautiful necklace and it would change like shapes and stuff. So then when I, I saw it, it had the name Lauren on it, and I said, oh my God, I have to get this. But it was, an, it was a little bit more than I wanted to spend on it, but I got it. And then like a security guard came and was like, you know, what are you doing? You know, and I was like, I'm just getting this necklace. You know, and he like kind of like looked at me and like was like, you know, trying to see if they were gonna let me get the necklace. It was so weird. And then, um, then I got woken up. It was like, they, I was like about to check out and the woman was about to tell me, what crystals I was getting, right? Because it was this weird crystal that I had never seen before. And let me know if there's any dream interpreters watching this, okay? And then as soon as like I'm about to check out, uh, my phone rings, it's a telemarketer, like spam calling me. And I was like, oh, I was like so close to figuring out more about it. I don't know, I think it's like, um, just the universe telling me that like something is coming that's like meant for me, but I don't know what it is yet. And something about a telemarketer destroying everything. <laughs> so that was my dream. It was fun. The fun dream. Do you guys uh, remember your dreams? I should write it down. They always say you should write your dreams down so you remember them because then they make sense. And sometimes we all have like reoccurring dreams. And then some people say our dreams are like us going into another dimension sometimes. So yeah, I don't know what my dream was. It was interesting. It was a, it was a nice dream. All right. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about this paint. So nice and sunny there. Thank you guys. Oh, I already did it. Let me see if I get a different paintbrush that has like a different feel to to it, like a thinner. I wanted like a thinner vibe to the paintbrush. Thank you guys for tuning in and watching my stream. This has been fun. I love painting with you. Oh, maybe this toothbrush. Let's see what the toothbrush looks like. <laughs> This is probably uh oh and it's like actually another it's like that other color which is interesting it 
This is cool. Oh, I like this. That's awesome, guys. I feel like a real artist right now, layering colors and stuff. I wish you could see it. It's kind of, we're, we're kind of shadowed. There we are. So I'm using this different paint and I'm layering the, the green colors, the one that I mixed with this oil-based paint. Hopefully it doesn't, you know, <laughs> doesn't, <laughs> and I'm using a toothbrush to give it like a different kind of texture than the other brush. This is fun. This is fun, guys. Painting is fun. Uh, the moral of this story is uh, put your paint away after you use it. Don't leave it out for three weeks because you think you're going to use it again soon. You know, that's the moral of my story. All right. I need like a deeper green now to like, I'm like, this is like the never ending story of like, <laughs> of this thing. Oscar bag with makeup. I know it'd be really cool if like the gifting suites I go to have paint brushes and paint materials. <laughs> I, I'm very excited. So for the Oscars, they, oh geez. I've already given up on the, not getting paint everywhere. So for the Oscars, I always get invited to these things called gifting suites. And they're kind of epic and awesome because they just give people free stuff. So I'm lucky to go. And then my friend, oh boy. Oh no, a fly was on it and he got his wing painted. Oh, I hope you're okay. Let me see if I can get it off. Wait, don't, don't, don't. I'm trying to get it off your wing. Oh boy, this poor guy. Oh no. Ugh. I'm sorry. It's like oil-based paint on this poor fly. I didn't see you there. Oh, that sucks. I hate, I don't like to hurt animals at all and there was a bug where I was painting. I'm really sad about that. But anyway, so I got, I get invited to these things called gifting suites, which are pretty awesome. And um, my friend Ken gets invited. So we're just, you know, going to each other's, which is pretty cool. Not painted since X. Yeah, I know. I was supposed to paint that day, but um, I got distracted, you know. And also, I've been using like different colors for the paint, you know. So. I feel like watching Bob Ross and like getting ideas from him, <laughs> you know? But I like this paintbrush idea. This was a good idea. And I love that we like mix the colors. That was really fun. There's squirrels running around. What are you doing, squirrels? Why are you running like this? George, come here. Okay. My dog. Good boy. Hi. 
Thank you for coming. George is like, what did you want? Why'd you bother me? He's like, can I paint too? Oh, don't get wet, George. He's left. It's like, um, yeah. It's so annoying. I mean, not annoying. It's like sad. I have this um, ring app and it's really driven me insane because it tells me every time somebody loses a pet and I just want to go and find them. You should could use the cabinet to put food in. That's a good idea. My kitchen is pretty tight already, uh, Pamela. I'm going to put it in my bedroom. I saw wood flooring at Habitat for Humanity today. Still in boxes, but pretty pricey. 60 a box? So how many square feet is that if it's a box? And what did that wood look like? Wood, guys, is so expensive. I don't know what to do. I need to rip out my carpets. George, we got to go back here. We're almost done painting. Come on, baby. Come on, George. He's like, I want to go inside and take my W-A-L-K. Alvin, Simon, Theodore. Do, 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 do. Georgie, come here. Come here, my love. Come here, baby. George. It's my dog. Okay. I am kind of frustrated by the amount of chip paint. So when I sanded it, the the whole side started being like just coming off, guys. It's very frustrating. I'm trying not to step on this little fly that I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Hello, Sir George. Georgie, come here. Boo boo. George, come on. George. Oh, he sees his friends. That's what George does. I'm like, what is George looking at? He sees his friends. I have uh, roommates and George was just uh, going to watch them. What's up, Lauren? Hey, Steven, how are you? I am uh, Steve, I'm just uh, painting right now my piece of furniture. Um, yeah, Pamela was saying that I should um, put it in my kitchen, but I was trying to explain my kitchen's super tiny. It does, it would actually match my kitchen. I don't know if you guys have seen it. My kitchen's like very tan. Um, it would match my kitchen. I just need a bigger kitchen. So if I ever, uh, expand my house <laughs> that's the problem but i do want to put it in my bedroom i think if i ever i guess decide to get rid of the furniture in my bedroom that match this one so fun I just have to I hope this uh, paint dries nicely because um, this is actually an oil-based paint that I found in somebody's trash they were giving it away for free <laughs> so you know I like to use things for fun see how they look I need like a deeper green to finish this off and then it'll be good so I mean, I feel like every day, a little bit more, we're getting this. I got this piece uh, also on Craigslist for free, this fencing piece. I want to paint it and actually put it uh, with the rest of my fencing. That's another, I just do, pro I like projects, guys. I'm a, I'm, I'm a project person. Like, <laughs> like, if it doesn't have a project, I'm probably not interested in it. It goes for people, animals. It's weird. <laughs> I gotta see what Ken wrote, because I was supposed to go to a uh, fashion show thing tonight, but I wasn't sure if uh, Carlos could watch George, because he had his friend over, but then he dropped her off, so maybe, maybe I can go to the fashion show. We'll see. 
$50 membership a month for Amityville Karen. Oh my goodness, that's crazy. Wait till it goes somewhere. It'll be somewhere else soon. Don't worry. Don't don't spend 50 bucks on that. Wow. Can't you just buy it like on its own? I haven't even seen it yet, guys. That's so cool. Yeah, wait, wait for it. And then I'm excited about all the other movies that I'm working on, you know? Okay, this looks very interesting. Did I do the other side yet? I don't even remember. Okay, walking over here. Let's see. Looks like I did do the other side. Maybe, yeah, I did. I think. I think I need to do a little more because the other sides I kind of did more of. It's on YouTube TV, I guess. I have no idea, Brian. Glenn would know better. Glenn knows. <laughs> Glenn Newly knows. Ne Neely, maybe. I, I think I, I was saying his name wrong and then somebody else pronounced it correctly. And he was like, Lauren, that's how you pronounce it. I think it was Sally. I was watching Sally's stream. I miss Sally. I haven't seen her in so long. You know what it is? The gas prices in LA make it, I just end up staying home, you know? Because <laughs> I'm like, it's going to cost me like 20 bucks to go anywhere. It's crazy. It's so crazy, guys. the deeper green. I and mean, I could use yellow too, like a bright yellow would be fun. Maybe we'll do that next. All right, bright yellow next. Wait, where did Georgie go? Baby, where are you? Hold on guys, sorry. George is not. George. He's just staring at his friends on the, I have a little fenced area and his friends are on the other side of the area. So he's just like looking at his friends like, I want to say hi. My dog is such a, is such a, um, a very, I guess, ooh, my dog is a very um, social person. branch here. I also have a sign that I want to paint. It's a love sign. Oh, this looks cool. <laughs> this dead tree branch I'm painting right now using the rest of the, the paint because I can. You know what would be really cool? If I get, I want to get glow, I should get glow in the dark paint and then paint the branch like to glow in the dark. That would be really cool. So when I come out here at night, you just see like a, gro a glowing tree, tree branch. That would be awesome. I should put that on my wish list. Glow in the dark paint. Although I bought some glow in the dark spray paint and it did not work, FYI. It just didn't work ripping off the smaller branches. <laughs> On this episode of Lauren Painting Things, she paints a tree branch. It was fun and it was interesting. Okay, painting the tree branch. George is like, are we gonna get a walk before the sun goes down? I have to wrap this up soon so I can walk my dog. Um, yes, the gas is so expensive. It's on the most two, $2 a liter in Toronto on nuts. Wow. That would be so cool. In LA, it's almost $7 a gallon, which I don't know what the conversion for liters to gallon is, but it's just ridiculous. 
It's so ridiculous. I need to get an electric car, basically. And I like my car here. I've had it for years, um, so I have no payments on it, which is great. But yeah, I don't know. I'm like, not now. I can't get a car. You know, I have my house to pay for, and I really want to do my floors because uh, the rug is. If you guys saw the video I did trying to clean the rug, it was embarrassing. My mom yelled at me after she saw it. She was just like, why would you post something like that on the internet? You need to get your carpets cleaned. And I had just, I paid for Stanley steamer like two years ago and it really didn't take the spots out. I was really upset about it. Um, so I, I want to do wood floors. I'm just waiting to, waiting to find wood that I like that's not a million dollars, basically. I guess after the pandemic, everything went up, all the material prices went up, so. So yeah, I'm like this used to be a comedy channel, but once I bought my house, it's been more like a DIY show. This is kind of cool. I kind of like the, the this uh, tree branch painting. All right, let's try to see. Um, where is a little bucket? Oh, here it is. I need to like, and I don't know what to do because I've been soaking these paint brushes but I don't want to dump out the water in my like sink and stuff. So that's been a problem. And I have just soapy water. I used an empty uh, thing to, to put uh, in here. I'm just soaking my paint brushes in here. Let's see. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to add some water to that same thing with the oil-based one, but I need a paint thinner for that, I've learned. And, uh, yeah, let's see what, hopefully I don't, I should have bought more of this yellow. I got it at the dollar store. It's a little bottle, but it was on sale for 50% off, so. All right, let's do it on this side to see what it looks like. Oh no, I got some paint on my selfie stick. Oh boy. Oh boy, Joby should be happy because I use their selfie stick in like every movie I do. Let's see. I'm not sure if I like the, the way the yellow is going on top of the paint now. Yeah, I'm not crazy about it. Eh. Not really so crazy about the way this yellow paint looks layered. George! Ah. Ah. No, just don't like it. I need to paint green over it, I feel like. Not, not good enough. It's interesting though. I just do layers of paint. You're so hippie, it's cool. Oh, thank you, Charles. That's really sweet of you. George, come here. Baby, baby George. Baby George, he's just looking at me. He's like, I don't want to come here. <laughs> I'm painting a tree right now. <laughs> Hello, my name is Lauren and today we're painting a tree. It's a dead it's a dead branch that I didn't let my gardener throw away because I thought it was beautiful. And now I'm painting it. And getting paint all over me. Great. Great. Definitely gonna need a shower after this after this one. Hi guys, uh, welcome to painting with Lauren. <laughs> I'm using dollar store paint paint a tree right now. It's left over from um, my cabinet. Oh no. I did get some paint on my brick like that. I'm like, I don't mind about the concrete. It's already a big old mess here, but not on my bricks. It looks kind of cool. Do you guys see it? Really? Not really. Here, let me show you. Let me show you the masterpiece. Ooh. Wow, guys. 
Like, if any of my, like, normal friends come and watch this and be like, what happened to Lauren? She is painting a tree right now. This is what happens when you buy a house, guys. Everything becomes about remodeling or making cuter. I'm obsessed. This is my cactus garden behind me. I had a giant uh, cactus that fell over. And uh, instead of uh, getting rid of it or, you know, getting rid of all the pieces, I, uh, one of my friends helped me plant it, which was amazing. And I love my cactus garden. Beautiful. Now I'm just painting. I have like that bed frame. I never ended up, you remember that metal bed frame that I got and I was painting it? I think I painted it like last summer if you guys are new. And I had got it on, I got this bed on, I think it was Facebook Marketplace. And it was only 20 bucks and it had like two mattresses that came with it. Really cute. But then I, they, they didn't have the screw, the screws for the bed. It did not come with it. And it was so old, I couldn't find the screws anywhere. So I basically got a bed I couldn't use. So I have this frame that I painted. I think I might just put it in my garden and like paint it and make it like a really cute fence for my garden. I don't know. I have to get it out of my garage though because I have to empty my garage out. My garage is like the biggest store storage area ever and I need to like start like getting rid of stuff. Um, so yes, yeah, so I'm going to do that. And I also have like this old bed that was one of my ex-boyfriends uh, like from years ago and I actually painted that and I put it as um, at the top of my banister because I'm scared of heights and my banister was really low and it really fits there. So I've just been repurposing old furniture for different things, which has been really fun and painting it and just like being artistic on my moments, like by myself, <laughs> you know, those moments. So this has been fun. I try to use everything. I try not to waste. Oh my God, I'm itchy. The mosquitoes are coming. So at a certain time, guys, the mosquitoes start coming out and it's just not fun. But anyway, this has been fun. I'm rinsing my brushes in this and then I'll have to go in the sink and rinse them. Ugh. Yeah, I definitely have to go in the sink and rinse these brushes. This is not going to work. And my hands are all icky now. Oh boy, and I got water. Ugh. This is a mess. I'm making a mess, guys. I'm making a mess. This has been fun though. And I will be back. I have to, ugh. I have to figure this out. Okay, guys, I love you. And um, here, look, you can see what I'm doing. See, I need like a deeper green at the bottom. And if you guys remember the other furniture, it's kind of like, it's, it's, I feel like it's done. I can't do anymore. I'm like, this is kind of done. I'm just over, I'm over it. Unless I put some more blue, like the other one, but I like the wood, you know, I don't want to totally do it over the wood. Don't wash them in the sink. Well, I washed them in the sink the last time it was fine. I don't want to get the paint in my plants. Why shouldn't I wash them in the sink, Brian? Let me know. I definitely can't touch anything with this hand. <laughs> Be like, George, don't come near me. Brian, let me know why I can't put them in the sink. There's a use for everything. Yes, I even, I do composting for all my uh, plants. So all the plants have um, definitely, uh, like lots of, of the food go in there. All right, Brian, if you're not gonna let me know, I need that answer. Why shouldn't I put these in the sink? Oh no, there's so much paint everywhere. So much paint everywhere. Hose. I know, but then it's gonna get on my plants and my garden or my concrete. I'd rather, I'd rather it's going through the drain, no? What are your thoughts on this? Okay. I have to wash stuff. George, are you coming? Oh, thank you, Julio, for the 50 stars. Thank you so much. Okay, I'm going. Ah. Come on, George. George is bleeding. Okay. All right. I'm going to wash these brushes now. Come, come, George. Bucket and a hose. Why a bucket and a hose? I don't understand. Why not in my sink? What's the problem with putting paint in the sink? What if I put it down the toilet and then rinse it? You really think I should use a bucket and a hose? I just don't know what to do with this empty stuff. I mean, I could put it in the dirt, but then it's going to hurt all the, the animals, the bugs. I'm sending you my eggshells. 
It was nice when my friends were here because they were giving me their extra eggshells from my garden. <laughs> what if I put it down the toilet? What if I put the paint down the toilet? Where should I put this paint? You'll get paint everywhere inside. Okay, I won't do that. I won't get it everywhere. I'll just put it down the toilet. Hopefully it will be okay. Do you guys want to watch and see? Let's see. Let's see if I can do this. I did get paint in my sink the last time forever. That was kind of shitty. That's kind of annoying. All right. You guys, we're going to do this together. Hopefully I won't get paint everywhere. All right. This is my guest bathroom. Um, putting the toilet seat up. And putting it down the toilet. Oh, boy. Just going to flush it now. All right. Okay, we didn't get it. It's not that bad. I'm just going to grab some toilet paper. It kind of got on the whole part. There we go. All right. Oh, damn it. I just got my basket. I just got the paint on the basket. That was not good. I got to wash my hands now. Oh, boy. All right. Oh, no. Where's the soap? I have no soap in here. Oh, boy. I got to get some soap. Alright. You are very beautiful. Thank you. Hold on, I gotta get soap. George is looking at me. He wants a lot. Wait, George. She's like, what is she doing? Why is she doing this? Alright, guys. Um, if you were watching, I was painting my furniture and now I'm trying to get the paint off of my hands. Let it dry. What do you mean? Let what 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 let what dry? The paint on my hands? I'm trying to get it off my hands. And then I have to wash my brushes so I don't destroy them. I hate when my brushes get destroyed. It is so frustrating. Ugh. Oh boy. Thank you, Julio, for the stars and the kisses. Thank you, guys. I'm just hoping that I don't uh, mess up my sink right now. I kind of already messed up the sink, to be completely honest. All right. I have a little bucket that I, I soak these in. Ouch. I'm soaking it with hot water. Okay, okay, okay. happening with the lemons? Oh, um, I have a lot of lemons, guys, uh -huh. and they are just in the backyard. That's where the lemons are. In the backyard are the lemons. You know? We are washing paintbrushes. Did you get paint on George? No, thank God. He's watching me like I am a crazy person, though. He's like, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? Can you please stop? Can we go on our walk is basically what George is saying. George went with me to the vet today and we got a clean bill of health. So I'm in a much better mood to like make content. Sometimes when I'm sad or depressed, it's hard for me to like upload videos. So I was just very grateful that George is okay. Oh boy. Jeez. So much pain in my sink right now. Hopefully I'm not destroying my drain. Oh boy. Let me let it go down. Why isn't it going down? Oh boy. Paint is not going down the drain. Uh-oh. You the realist. I am pretty real. That's what I am. Pretty real. Really? Oh boy. I just got paint. More paint. Yep. Oh boy. I need to like get I need a paper towel to wipe these paints up. Each, 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 each. You know what it is too? It's like some of it, the green one is oil based. So washing them together with soap is probably not a good idea. No, it's on my pretty ring from Dan Walker Designs. That's annoying. 
Carlos is gonna have great teeth. That's funny. I don't think it was Carlos's toothbrush. I think it was one of my ex-boyfriends. <laughs> don't I don't waste anything, including toothbrushes. Oh boy. I gotta get paper towels, guys, to clean the sink now.